Hallo Leute, mein Name ist Sozialer Inzog und ja, das kommt sehr spontan, aber ich war gerade ein bisschen Dragon Ball spielen und dann sehe ich das da. Essen Sie vor etwas hochgeladen und ja. Ihr kennt mich, ich reagiere auf alles. Nur eins habe ich bisher ausgelassen, weil es nicht von SNG vorkam. Also, legen wir los. Das ja, und erstmal Werbung. Werbung. Tschüssi, tschüssi. Hau ab. Hut ab. So los geht's. Wenn das mal gut geht, essen Sie vor. Ja. <lacht> Das erklärt wenigstens seine 64 Sucht. Ja, das war damals schlimm in Mario Party. <lacht> Ja. Mario Dollar. Oder Nato Phoenix. Schicken. Ja. When you go in the water, I find myself falling off a platform and landing in the ocean. I pretty much just turn off the game and just leave and cry. I think it's a scene <laughs> of underwater creatures. Yeah, I do not like that at all. Anything just chasing me scares me. Minecraft. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I wanna go. There were other things that didn't really make sense of why I was scared, but I was scared of it anyway. Like in Mario Party 2, there's this mini game where all the characters are just floating heads and you have to pretty much do a Simon Says type of thing. I was horrified of these things. I thought it was the end of the world. Whenever the mini games were on, I would just leave the back of the shop. Also, wenn man sich vor der Biene in Mario Party DS erschreckt, was ich mache, das ist noch in Ordnung, aber einfach die Katzen. Naja, Essen Sie vor ist eben sehr schreckhaft. Thanks, Kevin. But really, it was those N64 games mixed with the bad smell of food and a last freezer that went that molded my love for Nintendo. Now that's not to say I played other games too. We had a PS2 with a lot of pirated games, such as Simpsons Hidden Run and Crash Bandicoot. Oh boy, they were classic. I just wish they weren't uh, broken all the time. We weren't really good at taking care of those. We also had a PC, which we played enormous amount of Flash games. Ah, das habe ich damals als Kind gespielt. Das mit dem Dreck weg. Auf Spieler, ver. Years, I started playing more PC games and still a handful of Nintendo games as well. Now I'm going to admit, I may have been a bit of a pirating boy back when the DS came out, but hey. 
That was only because my mom would give me the death stare if I were to even consider buying more than one game within half a year. So it was either Nintendogs for the rest of my life or getting some of that booty. Speaking of booty, Bidoof is a thick ass Pokemon. Pokemon Diamond was the jam for me. I may sound like an old man, but Diamond is unforgettable in terms of nostalgia, the okay. music, the story. Diamond habe ich noch gar nicht gespielt. Best can go suck a big fat PP though. Why you ask? I always pick water starters for every single Pokemon game. Why? Because Werde ich I noch like nachholen. Blue, blue is associated with water and for some reason I always called them Flame Man. Yeah, you know what Kid Luke okay, was okay. Starter, right? Kid Luke also thought he could pirate Pokemon games when they were just only first announced. Boy, was that a lot of viruses I got. Saw some interesting ads pop up on my computer. Yep. Also, I was looking for a to train one single Pokemon so that I know how to balance out a party. 10 out of 10 trainer, guys. Going to my <laughs> years of high school, I had less time to play console games, unfortunately. But my friends kept telling me to play this awesome game on the PC. Ah uh, yes, TF2. The team-based shooter game that was colorful yet violent. So much money yeah. spent on hats. Hats for God's sake. Totally worth it if you ask me. Can't say the same for my bank account though. Now let's no! go on, I sack <laughs> I know. That's why I hanged out on the Mario Kart servers in TF2, where you can just chill out and focus on getting cheap kills and feel good about yourself. So many hours are spent there. How many hours do we have anyway? Oh, damn, almost 3,000. That's pretty good. Whoa! Oh, oh well. Uh, Alright then. From there, I just play this. That is more than in Smash 3DS. I have 365. Sounds pretty fun, right? It was a boss mode, and I love the heck out of it. I haven't played much other FPS games now that I think about it. Like, <laughs> Dude, that was background. <laughs> Anspielung auf <laughs> eine Folge. Like this was also the time when I was introduced to Gary's mod. When I was younger, I was like, whoa, ah, yeah. you can Gary's do all mod. these things. You can be Kermit, you can be Mario, you can make two dolls love each other. Oh, boy. I swear I didn't do that. You can see from there how I used it for SMG4. Now when it comes to mic chat, yeah. or just talking to people on the internet in general, I am a big, big... Scandy cat, think of me as a giant Snorlax with a giant <laughs> saying, Please don't hurt me. Well, I just want to love. I just can't <laughs> a stranger getting angry at me on the internet. I know, it's pathetic. There was this game called Maple Story, which was a giant MMORPG, um, and you could roam around What's different servers sign? with friends, and there were 30 different channels within a server, and whenever anyone would join my channel, I would instantly find another channel with no one in it because I just I can't talk to people. How do you talk to people? Will you be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a bit better now, but still, talking to people is scary. I really love story and puzzles. That's like One of good. my all-time favorites is Phoenix Fight. Because I just, I just love the story. I can't even say anything. I get it wrong like 90% of the time. Another game is Gangnam by Maggie, Mario, which is another one of my all-time favorites. Probably the only franchise where I bought merchandise off, actually. Look, I even cosplayed as a stupid-ass bear, okay? Hopefully no pictures exist oh boy. so if you have any suggestions let me know in the comments i really would love to know what you guys like also just please don't give me jrpgs because i just can't micromanage a party can't even manage a pokemon party for god's sake <laughs> as time went on i got busier with youtube schools exams and such i was able to play a couple of really good games like cuphead and had in time recently but currently now as of 2019 i'm just playing tf2 like once every two months and some smash ultimate on the side if like anyone would ever want to play with me I'm looking for more games to play, like <laughs> trying to better myself. Work less, as you come to know me, I work every day, like 7 a.m. all the way to 12 at night. So, as of recent years, games hasn't been one of the most on the <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I still love to study and learn what's going on in the gaming industry and the culture. Hell, I have to deal with this red idiot 99% of my time, so it hasn't left at all. I just wish I could sit back and enjoy those times where I had nothing to do, except throw banana peels, go on adventures, and gambling with Luigi. <laughs> if there is any message to take away from this video, it's that you cherish the time you have with video games. One day you'll just realize you won't have time to play these games anymore. Or that it's offered all it can for you. Anyway, I've been speaking for long enough. I hope you guys enjoyed my ramblings. If you want to listen to me more, then, you know, just comment below and let me know what you think. And hopefully you learn a little bit more about me. So, also, yeah. it was a nice presentation. Oh, hi Mario. Hau mal wieder in the dance rein. Ja, ein schönes, spontanes Video. Ich habe 10 Minuten verpasst, weil es ja nicht wie immer angekündigt war. Aber sehr schön, spontan gemacht. Damit bedanke ich mich fürs Zusehen. Bleibt sozial, lasst ein Abo da und bye.